Greetings, everyone. Welcome back. We're joined by the lovely Miss Michelle. Good day, everyone. We're looking at new anomalies I discovered at a site in Lowell, in the region of Mars called Ionia Terra. I'll show you the material, then we can have a chat, and let me know what you think about the latest finds. That's it. Iris calls this photograph Lowell Crater Northern Rim. It was acquired by the MRO on the 6th of January 2008 at a resolution of 24.9 centimeters per pixel. I cropped the images I'll be showing you from the JP2 black and white map projected file, just under 900 megabytes in size. And there's a look at the low res black and white. Now I have to add the quality of this photograph is rather poor so when I zoom in on these anomalies they do blur quite a bit. So the site is here to the western edge of Lovell. We'll have a look at the anomalies there to the east as well. So to start off with we're looking at these what I speculate are monolith type anomalies. These are some of the longest shadows I've seen in any of the photographs so far and based on the shadow length and the angle of the sun which they give on the NASA page I worked out the height of the object so in this case that there is about five meters tall so it's got the proportions of a typical sort of monolith and uh, let's take a closer look at that check this out folks it looks like a, a block a slab perpendicular to the surface. I'm not sure what caused this. Wind erosion perhaps, but you don't see that around many of the other rocks and boulders in this region. So it looks rather artificial. And then we've got this one and there are so many that are shaped like this folks. I'll show you in a moment. And based on the shadow length this is also in the region of five to six meters tall. With the close up. Also a rather weird shape. Almost like an eye shape from the top. And there's some of the others. This is from part one alignment and strange objects found near Eurepus Mons. Check that shape out. The small protrusion. Likewise, we have one there. And then this one was from Anomalies on the Plains of Tadavallis. Yeah, the sun is shining directly from above. And then this one also got this weird shape. Also looks like a flattened protrusion on the top. And we're looking at this one. Really tall folks at 11 meters tall. The close-up shows a block, possibly another one next to it, or could that be an L-shaped block? Rather strange. Very tall as well. And I'd say it's about five to six meters long. It's got a very weird shape to it. And we're looking at that item. It looks almost as if it has an opening in it. Check that. Almost like a sort of a jet intake. I don't know what to make of that one. It breaks up badly when you zoom in. This block. Could it be some wreckage as well? Or is it megalithic in nature? It's got this slot or groove cut around the edge, almost like a bevel, you could say. Another one of these small blocks, the little thing on the one side. And that's also quite commonplace on Mars. One of your more typical type of anomalies a block with a small protrusion. This one looks like a spherical object in the center. 
and in this long narrow part looks almost like a long fossilized bone but I don't think so I don't know what to make of that that there's about 15 meters in length it's a rather odd shape you don't see many of those even close to that shape in this photograph and in this there's another anomaly I featured in the past very similar to this that whole piece there is about I'd say 15 to 12 meters long it's got this rounded design to it a second level you could say like a ring and then a small spherical object in the center and there's something similar from strange geometric objects spotted south of Johannes Regio rather striking the similarity over there and then a block check this one out folks it's about six to eight meters long and of course the photograph breaks up quite badly but you can see the two flat sides and the right angles and then this another block with what looks like a sculpted eye on it check that out folks and I featured a couple of those similar in the past and in this it's about say 10 to 12 meters long and it's got a spherical object right there in its center and two parallel grooves on the top right let's zoom down to the western edge of Lowell and it's right next to a region called Ionia Terra here are those anomalies featured just for summary let's pop over to that site to the eastern edge another one of these narrow blocks with a small protrusion on the center this one's tilted over check out the right angle to that piece small object nicely in the center of that larger part long narrow block on top of this piece parallel with that one side check out the two spherical objects located there guys I'd say that's about two to three meters in diameter looks almost like a sculpting of a face the eyes nose and the chin not that that is a face guys but it does look similar to a sort of an oblong face got the rectangular part here with a conical feature various long narrow parts lying on top of each other yeah this looks very metallic it's got a nice bend to it could this be attached to that smaller part looks like a collapsed structure some wreckage possibly and then this looks if those blocks fit together with a central column and with that said we've reached the end of this episode of Mars Anomalies take care everybody Michelle and I will see you in the next one very soon goodbye everyone ciao for now <laughs>